Hey geeks, welcome back to the workbench. It's me, Das, and I've had a wonderful week. One, uh, this past week was my birthday, so I've made one more lap around the sun. Probably gonna make a few more, hopefully. <laughs> but not only did I get uh, some cool birthday presents, I got mini, I got TMNT minis for my D and D campaign that I'm making. I got a last run in action, the unarmored last run in action figure. Last two two versions of the last Ronin, uh, the Lost Years. But I also found out that the last Ronin is being turned into a video game. You've all seen that GIF or the meme where Kermit the Frog is flailing everywhere in excitement. That was me when I found out that the last Ronin is getting turned into a video game by the guys who made God of War. Holy crap. <laughs> I am so excited for this. Oh, man. I know other shellheads like myself are excited. It's, it is it is a phenomenal series. And I will probably do a video on the comic book series uh, down the road here. But I just had to, I had to express my excitement for this. This is just... Uh, oh man, I'm I'm speechless. I really am. The last Ronin is such a strong and captivating story that I think the guys who made Gears uh, God of War, not Gears, uh, will do this this franchise justice. There have been video games in the past of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but I don't think there's ever been a video game as deep and compelling and story driven and enticing as the last Ronin. So yeah, this is uh this is gonna be a wild ride. Anyways, I'm gonna do a quick review of a figure that I got a couple weeks back. Um my brother got it for me because uh I missed out on it. I was in the middle of in between jobs and I didn't really have the money to buy it. So he uh, hooked me up. So I got to show you what he got me. All right. Be right back. Okay. So I'm back. I tilted my camera down a little bit so you guys can kind of see this better. I will also pull him in and do a couple close up shots as well for you. But this is Fury Toys Samurai Animals Spring, uh, their ancient power series. <laughs> um,. This is a third-party action figure uh, from Fury Toys. They're from China. Uh, don't hate on it. Don't hate on it because it's China, all right? And don't hate on it because it's third-party because this is actually a really cool figure. Um, I'm going to try and avoid any IP issues. I'm not sure how well this is going to go. But I he got me this because, one, this is cool. I mean, this really is a cool figure for what it is. And I do enjoy a good action figure, even though mostly I collect TMNT stuff. I do got, I've got some other figures, I won't lie. I've got some Ghostbusters. I've got uh, the Doom Slayer. And uh, if you know what a Gundam is, I have a boatload of Gundams because I went into a uh, Gunpla building phase and I kind of hit the nostalgia button because I grew up with Gundam Wing. So I have all the master grades of those and some I've still got to build. I've still got to build quite a few Gundams that are in my backlog. I haven't bought any recently, so that's the thing. But anyways, this is uh, Spring. I really like him as a figure because he's a little smaller and which is cool considering if we take into other uh, figures that are, I want to say of this scale, I want to say he's probably six inch scale. So, um, he is a little shorter, which is cool. I'm fine with that. His articulation as for, you know, being a Chinese, uh, third party, not bad. Very good. Very tight in some places, some other places you may want to add a little super glue and do some tightening. Uh, I'll, for one, I'll give you an example. My wrist bolt joints, even though there are, is another set of interchangeable hands. Um, mine were really loose, so I threw on some, there's 
a trick I can show it to you if you guys would like. Just let me know in the comments um, of how to tighten up loose joints like that. Um, but yeah, I mean, overall, he's still, I mean, still fairly tight because I, I keep my guys posed and up on my shelves. But he comes with a pair of fisted hands so he can hold his various accessories. Um, the other cool thing is Fury Toys included uh, what I'm calling a bonus box, which came with an extra head, a, a, an alternate head. And op like splayed open hands, and also uh, some uh, extra weapons. So, and they're working on a line that follows kind of the, the seasons. So this one actually uh, it was it was announced in spring, but we didn't get it till recently, and I think probably due to production. But it's got some interesting goods on it. Like the belt here is cloth, which is different considering this is molded, but the detail on it is really nice. I like it. I like the muscle muscle sculpting uh, sculpture. Um, you will find that there are some mold lines, but that's okay. It's it it doesn't really bug me that much. The ones that really bug me really more or less are the really really prominent ones like on the hands here. I don't know if you can see them or not. Yeah, you kind of see them there. They're really prominent on the hands. But the helmet is really cool because he's got this cloth scarf. Scarf, uh, words, it's Friday. It's it's tattered, it's torn, it's dirty. So, I mean, he looks like he's been through some stuff. He's, his helmet is nicked in various places. It's splattered, looks like it's been faded in, in combat. It's been scratched up. Uh, I love the I love that uh, effect it does on that. Um, as for the shell, he does have a tail, which is something I don't see very often in an anthropomorphic turtles is a, a, a tail piece that's very it's very interesting to see his wraps match his color and they, they, the theme of the color the leather all looks very nice nicely sculpted on it looks a little looks like extra shoulder pad he's got going there too that's pretty nice um i think it would have been cool though is if uh these had a wire in it that would have been nice i think to have but overall as for just like a you know neck piece scarf it looks pretty good so what he all comes with in a base package is, um, let me set him up here. There we go. Don't fall over spring. He comes with two kunai. Um, I messed one up and accidentally realized when I was doing the super glue technique, I took some paint off, but that's okay. That's why you have two of them. And, um, just for the record, these are pointy. Be cautious. Don't, don't throw them at people. Don't poke your eye out. You also get two comma. Very nicely done too. I, uh, I would like more ninjas and uh, samurai to come with Kama. Uh, Kama is actually one of my favorite weapons in uh, Japanese lore. Yes, it is a farming tool. I understand this. But to be turned into a weapon for combat, that's another thing. And then you get two chains and a weight. If my if I'm correct, uh, please correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. I believe these are called Kusari. Uh, meaning weighted chain is if I'm correct. Uh, reason being is you can create a what is called a kusari comma uh, by taking some needle nose pliers, opening up this ring, and attaching it to the ball to this this hook. However, there's one thing y'all got y'all have to know. The only way to do that and have the chain attached so he can hold it is he has to have the comma in his hand before you do it. Because if you don't, the chain and the weight do not go through that hole. The chain will probably go through, but this does not. This is not thin enough. So, uh, most of the time on my shelf, I have him holding a comma and one of the kunai uh, in, in a reverse grip position. And he's kind of like, yeah, you know. But that, that's just me. Uh, he also, let's, uh, let me look at the other, let's take a look at his bonus pack that comes with him. Okay, so, starting off, out of the bonus pack, I wonder what these could be. <laughs> they are swords, obviously. They're kind of short, which is okay, but I love the, the weathered and, uh, rough look they have. They come with a peg, so they do fit on the back of his shell. Um... There we go. Yay, camera. Now you want to focus. Okay. So, yeah. And they do come out of the sheath. Really nice. They're not super tight, and they're not super loose, so there's not a whole lot of running. 
It is a straight edge, but still very pointy. So be cautious. Um, he holds them just like he does the Kama and the Kunai, so you can have him in multiple ways. The swords just fit on the back, like so. And you can pivot them so that they do fit. So now you have a sword toting, I want to say probably Ronin-ish. They've got a very Ronin-esque, I get a, like a anthropomorphic uh, Ghost of Tsushima feel from him. It's very cool, I like it. I wish the stars came off, the throwing stars, that'd be kind of cool too. Um, so yeah, there's that. You also get a pair of splayed open hands. Um, which is interesting because they only show one fingernail here, and I didn't realize that the fingernails are painted. <laughs> and so are the toenails, too. Oh, surprising. But they look really good. I mean, I'm, that's kind of what I expect from an anthropomorphic reptile. You know? But you get not just one, you get two. You get you know, both hands split open. And then there's an extra head. Hey, oops. Oh, I dropped that. That's my bed. That's my bad. Um, yeah. He comes with a very angry, grumpy-looking head. With a blue dot in the center of his head, which is weird. I don't know why they did that. I'm not sure if that is a mistake on the factory's end, or if that is what that is. But the eyes look wonderful. I love the yellow around the eyes. Um, I love the just the whole weathered feel and cloth bandana. I... I I don't feel bad about that. I love the tattered look to it. But yeah, that's what that's what comes with um, the Spring Fury toys. Again, uh, if you guys are interested in showing me showing you guys how to you know tighten up or even loosen up some tight joints, because my last Ronin on armor figure, holy crap, it's got tight joints. This guy, he was about mm, I'll say. 80 20 he had about 80 percent tighter joints and i would say 20 percent loose joints which were an easy fix uh all you really need is some super glue and make sure you work it because you don't want your you you don't want to seize your pegs or your joints because that would be bad that would be super bad and i wouldn't want you guys to ruin a good action figure so uh if you like what you saw today let me know in the comments below uh give it a thumbs up Give the video a thumbs up for me, and I hope to interacting with you guys some more. Uh, I'm going to try and keep these videos going. I'm enjoying what I'm doing, and um, maybe we'll see where this goes. So, I hope you all enjoy your weekend. I'm going to go and get me some pizza. <coughs> Talk to you later.